Hi, I'm Kim Stoner. I'm going to talk about the history of this uh, balsa blank here. I uh, bought it from Johnny Rice, the late Johnny Rice, about 15 years ago. And it had previously been in storage for probably 40 to 45 years. And talked to Bob about uh, finish shaping it, shaping it and finish shaping it. And if you look at it, Bob said it's some of the nicest uh, balsa grain he's seen in a long time. It's a really old balsa blank that uh, Bob Pearson rough shaped. And we're going to kind of finish shape it. We, uh, because we're the World Surfing Reserve in a Monterey Bay Sanctuary, we can't make a lot of wood chips going in the ocean, so we're kind of regulated. So that's kind of, it's not going to be a full on, you know, power tool, sand paper, saw. But that's okay, you know. <coughs> yeah, this is uh, Kim's blank. Uh, it's a very special blank he got from a very special friend. And if you look at the wood, the grain is just beautiful, hardly any knots or anything like that. Some of these wood here, they got a lot of knots in them, but there's a lot of people who like the knots, like the imperfections, like the difference, and it makes it look more like a piece of wood, like tree or something like that. Anyway, I was just, uh, I knew we were going to bring this out here today. We're not, we don't have any power tools, so we're not allowed to throw a bunch of dust in the ocean stuff, so we're going to do a little work on this and give a concept of what shaping's like. Uh, at this point, I took a skilled planer to this it was a piece of uh, square wood I templated it did this put the rocker in it. it has a slight belly in it has the soft rails it has like the 60s soft belly in here not really hard rails so it's a 95 percent shaped and so we're just gonna from here what do we do we just take different tools to it um yeah these uh this is a draw knife and years ago that's what the uh, Hawaiians used to shape their olos and alias and stuff and so after we mess with this a bit we'll go ahead and get this down and we'll just start slicing off some pieces of wood and shape this and bring it down bring the rails down and stuff like that um, I sharpened this last night so uh, it should work pretty good we have this uh, sand screen when we do foam we have the sand screen that just does a really good job of contours and taking foam off, fine tuning. This would work, but this is a little hard, so rather than taking 10, 15 strokes, you'd take 50, 60 strokes to get a cost effect with this. And so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, kind of clean up this tail. So we wanna figure out where uh, midpoint is. Can you get that, snap the line there? And I'll go ahead and get the plastic. There's different tools we have that work really good. It's just uh, like a right angle, two right angles together. So it tells you where the center is. So, so here's right there. Okay. And then we'll put one on this. Let me get this in. straight down to it now. Straight down. taking this in, taking that right off and taking this and blending this in. Normally I have a template, a pattern a template, and we put that on to do your various templates of what you want. Longboard, shortboard, egg, hybrid, Santa board, race board, taking it, chasing Mavericks guns, whatever. I didn't bring a template, but uh, I've got a pretty good eye. I'm just going to eye this. So.
I want Kim to uh, be involved in this. So, and Randy. It looks like it's straight across. There's an old belly to it, but I'm going to keep that. So, take a... Uh, Randy, Kim, take this. I want you to bring this down into here from here. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two. Okay, just a second. Any way you want, do one side or the other. He's just cleaning up the template now. Here, then here, then here, then here, then here, then here. Take your time, a lot of strokes. Yeah. Okay, do it again, start all over again. Don't tilt it sideways, just okay. keep going. Keep it straight. You're almost done, just a little bit more. Good, good, good. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. All right, so you, you roll, wait, no, 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 no. You just double do the one bevel. You don't do the bevels all together. Oh, okay. You just do one here. So create this bevel, then you go get okay. the other. Okay. Thanks, so Bob. Thank you. No, I see you did it about it. Wait, there's a... Okay, look at this. I'll just keep it like that. See, that's the same same edge. You see that? Oh, I see it. Okay. So it's okay to Now make that's point. good. Now I'm going to get this edge. Oh, I see. Now I get this edge. Now you're chafing it. Yeah, okay. You're trying to do it all at once. Yeah. It makes it cleaner that way. So do a bevel here. Now look, this has even more work. So look at it. Just I think your edge is just right here. Now it looks like it goes in a little bit right see that? there. Yeah. So you just sand this a little here. Okay. Just get that warm. No, you're just doing the temple. Yeah, yeah. Okay, look at it. Look at it. Now I've got a little line here to erase that line. Okay. So you're just racing the lines. There we go. So what we have now is we have There's a symmetrical template, a square tail. You got a square tail, and that's a smaller square tail. If it's a slight curve, it's a squash tail. If it's a tail like that, it's called a round pin. This is a pin tail, round pin, diamond tail. The narrower the tail, the more the board sinks. The wider the tail, the better it plays. If you're riding away this big, you don't want a tail that's gonna sink, you want a tail that's gonna plane. Maintain stability, maintain momentum. This is design of a small wave board. From here down, that's what this is about. So this bait tail here, now we've got the template on it. We've got, you can see it's a little bevel there. We're gonna leave that. Yeah, I was gonna demonstrate a little work on this, but this is exactly where I wanted to end up. So that tail is done, that's just shaping. From here, there's a little edge here. We just take that off. This edge, this edge. Now sand screen, we'll just finish that balsa's, up. Balsa's, uh, balsa's really hard to get these days, so it gets a little more expensive. This, these are nice long pieces of balsa. This is a nine, 10 foot, nine foot 10 long. It's pretty easy to get balsa this long. This long is more expensive, so this long is valuable. There's a, it's hard to get balsa these days. 30 years ago, there was a company in LA to get balsa really easy. Now, uh, there's a guy who's just gonna start up again because the demand has increased for it. So, that's the, the balsa. Do a draw knife up here, we'll put these down. We'll just kind of demonstrate a draw knife really quick.
This is uh, redwood. This is really heavy. Today we use polyurethane foam. We're getting into using EPS foam, expand polystyrene. Polyurethane foam is twice the weight of EPS foam. Balsa is twice the weight of polyurethane foam. Redwood is twice the weight of balsa wood. Koa wood, the sample over there, is twice the weight of redwood. These boards here, 17 feet long, 240 pounds each. So it's good to be a prince and say, to the beat. Um, we're, I'm just going to grab a draw knife and give you an idea what that looks like. I'm going to figure out what is top and bottom of this thing. Try to see if I see any crown. How thick is this box? Two and a half thick. Two and a half? Yeah. Two and a half is fine. Uh, ideally for a surfboard, you'd want around two and seven eighths. But this is good. We make uh, some boards inch and a half out of redwood. This is just a draw knife here. What I'm going to do is I want to bring this bottom rocker up to here. And I want to bring the tail rocker up to the bottom. In other words, I want to put more rocker in the board. I don't want to do the sand block this. I want to do it with my machine. Some of these boards, like these right here, had a lot of like burl in it, a lot of resin in it. And I took a heavy duty planer, a big powerful planer, and it was wrecking my planer. It was just hit like I was hitting rocks. So I got a big grinder with like 20 grit on it, big old rocks, stood on the grinder and shaped some of these big ones to get most of the foam off. Let's, uh, more wood has to come off the bottom. So I'm going to flip it over. Let's, this? What's this way? Easy, easy. Is that one piece? Oh yeah, I'd say 60, 70 pounds. Yeah, I'd got to go 72 pounds. Is that one piece? There's one piece, yeah. And if you look at the grain on this, I mean, it's beautiful grain. It's like it's old grub, really tight grain. In theory, that's a good thing that some people like. So I just took a bevel cut, and you can see how long that'll take to do a 17 foot long board. And this redwood is really smooth and easy, it does it really nice. Some of this stuff here, when you hit some of that resin, it stops. It stops. Dents this, breaks this. Attack it like rather than this, do this. The angle. Yeah, it's just a little soft. There you go. <laughs> Grab that. Okay. Now, you wouldn't want to take this to the balsa because that thing's almost shaped up. How far back can I go? Just, just roll that way. Pull it. Yeah. This is an old bot block plane. It's got the same thing, just an edge here. You can increase the depth of that for cut. Hey! Okay, 
guys got to coordinate each other. This is how I shave. Yeah. Might take you a couple days. This one's real fine. You keep going to figure out where you want it. You measure it. Get your fitness. You guys have probably heard of Gordon and Smith, JS. Absolutely, the, the, the guys who, uh, one of the groups that started the whole thing, fantastic shapers, Gordon Smith, it's Floyd Smith right here. So, he's been out here every year doing this, and he didn't want to do it this year, so I said, oh, I'll get out there and don't do it. So, so I told him, though, that uh, if he wanted to, he'd come out here and grab and throw some stuff on the ground or whatever. You see? So anyway, I, we just did this. I charmed it up with a stone. He would know. I'm okay then, man. Yeah. I got here last night and just got a nice stone on it. It's kind of like a cheese grater, you know, with one blade. You can see though, after a while, you keep working and keep working, you're sculpturing this, sculpturing this, and pretty soon you get your rocker and get everything you want in the board. Planers work way faster. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. He's a legend here. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, so look at all the stuff you got. What? Don't put your fingers underneath it. Yeah. Sorry. You're hired. All right. Yeah. So I want you to finish this, and we'll come back tomorrow and we'll go write it, all right? <laughs> Cool. Arrow. You see this? There's the blade. Don't touch. That's the blade that cuts this. Like all these. This is the same thing, but it doesn't have this. And this just takes more off. 